Good morning friends. Today we will talk about the market basket analysis using association rule mining. So we will start with by reading the file. This file is on my desktop and the file is called as cosmetics.csv. I am going to use column classes as factor because in association rule mining I need all the variables to be factor. So let's run this line. So this file has thousand observations. Let's explore this file. Okay. So here each row indicates the transaction and there are 14 columns. Uh, each column contains the value yes or no. Yes means the item is purchased or not purchased. Okay. So we want to analyze this data by using the association rule mining to see what items have brought together by the customer. So I'm going to use the package called A rules. So A stands for association. So let's run this. And I'm going to create the rules by using the function called a priori. To this function, I have supplied the data set or the data frame, my data. Let's run this line. So there are 68,880 such rules are created. Okay. Let's see what are the parameter specification. So the default value of confidence is 0.8, whereas the default value of support is 0.1. The minimum length is 1, which indicates that each rule must contain minimum 1 item and the maximum to be 10. Okay. If you want to see the summary of these rules, you can run this line. Okay. So this indicates that uh, there are three such rules which contain item 1. There are 18,066 rules which contain the 7 items and there are 970 rules, 72 rules which contains the 10 item. So this gives us the rule length distribution over the summary of rules. Okay. Now if you want to see the summary of quality measures, you can find it here. So the default value of support is 0.1 and it has gone up to 0 0.95 for the 68,870 rules. Similarly, the default value of confidence is 0 0.8 and it has gone up to 1.0. Similarly, you can find here the lift for the default value of the lift is 0 0.8 and it has gone up to 3.57. Now, it is uh, very important to notice here that these rules are very large. The rules, the number of rules are 68,880. So, if we want to reduce these rules to smaller number and we can do so by adding the parameter. Okay. So, I am keeping this minimum length to be 2, the maximum length to be 5 and the support is 0 0.7 whereas confidence is 0 0.8. Let's run this line okay. and surprisingly you can notice here this 68,880 rules they have been reduced to 15 rules. Okay. Let's inspect this rule. Okay. So there are 15 rules you can see them line by line. So there are 15 rules. So the support for the first rule is 0.7 whereas the confidence for this first rule is 1.0 and the lift is 1.17. You can observe one thing in this rule is that uh, if the customer did not buy the nail polish then he or she also did not buy the brushes. Okay. Now, this kind of rules they are not useful because we are not interested to know what customer has not purchased rather than what customer has purchased. So uh, this uh, these rules, these 15 rules, they does not uh, uh, gives any meaningful information. Uh, and all the rules, all these 15 rules, they have no in their uh, uh, value, no value in their rule. Right. So, uh, in fact, uh, 
rather than no, I want yes to be appear on this right hand side. And if you try to interpret this rule, the left hand side is nothing but the E part and the right hand side is nothing but the then part. So I want uh, the rules uh, value to be yes. So I want yes to be appear here. So we will go and we'll make some modification in the parameter specification. So we will run this line. So what this line uh, says that is I want minimum length to be 2. Maximum length is reduced that is it is 3 now. I want maximum uh, rules okay, uh, to be 3. The number of items in each rule that is that is that should be maximum uh, is 3. The support is reduced. I have reduced the support to 0.1 and the confidence is also uh, reduced by 10%. Now it is 0.7. Now the appearance it says that on the right hand side I want foundation to be yes and the default rules on the left hand side to be you can say it is the combination of yes and no. Okay. So why I have chosen foundation here? So I'll show you. We'll just take a summary of my data. Okay. Here you can find that the there are 536 such transactions which includes or where the customer has purchased the item foundation. Whereas, uh, there is an item called eyebrow pencil and there are such 958 transactions where the customer has not purchased this item. And there are only very less uh, uh, transactions, there is only 42 transactions where the customer has purchased this uh, uh, item. So, this clearly, you know, uh, indicates us that foundation is most popular items amongst the customer. So, uh, that's the reason why I have chosen the foundation to be yes. Okay. So, let's run this line. Okay. So, there are 19 such rules okay, where the customer has purchased uh, the items on the left hand side and the right hand side the foundation is appeared. Okay. So, let's in inspect this 19 rules. Okay. So, these are the rules. So, if the customer has purchased lip gloss, then foundation is yes. The support value is 0.356, whereas the confidence is 0.72 and the lift value is 1.35. Similarly, if the customer has purchased lip gloss the, and the lipstick, then foundation is yes and the support is quite interesting, that is 0.11, the confidence is increased 0.73 as well as the lift value for this rule is also increased which is 1.36. Okay. Now, uh, we can visualize this 19 rules with the graph and chart. Uh, so, for that I can use this package called A rules viz that is association rules visualization. So, let us run this line. Okay. I can use, so let us uh, uh, run this rule till the time we will wait. Okay. So, to plot the rules, I can use the command plot. Let us run this line. Okay. There is error. Okay. So, uh, it shows the graph. I will just uh, explore this graph. Okay. So, here the dot represents the rules. And you can find that darker the dots are, which indicates that its lift is high as well as confidence and support value is high. So, these two dots, they are very darker, which means that they have the high, higher lift, higher confidence and support value. These are the two rules, uh, which, which whose color is very lighter, which indicates that they have very low lift, confidence and support value. Uh, these three rules... Uh, which uh, slightly has you know average support but they have low confidence and low lift value. So, the darkness of this uh, dot it indicates the uh, higher lift confidence and support value where the lighter uh, the color of your dots it, which indicates uh, the rule has very low lift confidence and support value. 
So we I can add one more method to this plot command that is group. So let's run this. It will take some time to so that the plot will appear. Okay. So this is slightly different representation of what we have seen in the previous graph. So here support is represented by the size of the bubble and color represents the lift of your rule. Okay. So darker is the color of your bubble and the size of the bubble is large which indicates that your rule has a higher lift value and higher support. You can see that this first circle this first bubble it is darker and it is bigger so this rule one has higher lift and higher support value whereas this last rule uh, which is uh, you know lighter in color and its size is also very small which indicates that uh, this rule has the low lift value and a low support okay now we can notice one thing in this rules that if the customer has purchased lip gloss okay and the customer has purchased no eyeliner then the foundation is yes so here we are not interested to know that what customer has not purchased rather than what customer has purchased so we are trying to remove this rules which has no value on the LHS side okay so we can do so by adding the parameter and the if in the appearance I want the right hand side to be yes whereas on the left hand side all the items should have the value yes so let's run this okay so there are 22 such rules okay on which the LHS has the yes part and the RHS is also have yes part now we will run this line to ensure that the digits are the, the, the digits, digits are three so that after decimal there would be only three digits so that the value should not be very longer so we can round off these values by using this round function okay and we will sort all the 22 rules by the lift so let's inspect this 22 rules okay so these are the 22 rules where the lip gloss is yes, lipstick is yes, then the foundation would also be yes, which has the support value 0.116 and the confidence is 0.73, whereas the lift is 1.370. If the customer has purchased lip gloss, then foundation is yes. So surprisingly, the support value is increased from 0.1 to 0.3. The confidence value is reduced from 0.73 to 0.72. And... Uh, the lift value is also reduced to 1.355 okay so these are the 22 search rules now we can uh, find here that if the customer has purchased lip gloss and the customer has purchased eyeliner this rule number 2 and 17 and if you observe this rule number six then uh, we can find that there is a redundancy in the rules. So rule number 2, lip gloss is yes, then foundation is yes. Then rule number 17, that is eyeliner is yes, then foundation is yes. And if you observe this rule number 6, that is lip gloss is yes, eyeliner is yes, then foundation is also yes. So there is a some amount of redundancy in the rule. And in R, we can get rid of with this redundant rule by finding this redundant rules and then removing it so we can run this line to remove the redundancy okay so the redundant rules are removed and then we can inspect this rule using a rules command so there are 10 such rules which are not redundant out of 22 rules and there are 12 such rules which are redundant now all these rules are not redundant we have removed the redundancy okay so in uh, association rule mining we have to play with the confidence and support rules to uh, get the interesting rules out of the large generated uh, set of rules. So thank you. I hope you 
understood 